Well, this dump goes right up to the edge of the road. I was out there in that creek yesterday raking the bottom of it. There's a nice mixture of late teens and early 20s bottles and all kinds of newer ones mixed in with them. Which... Well, I found a pile that's really close to the road. Well, it's not really a pile, it's down about two and a half feet just to hit the glass layer. But I'd much rather dig three feet to get to the bottles than dig a bunch of 1940s and 50s like all those giant piles out in the woods were. So this is what it looks like now. I'll get back to you when I get down three feet. Well, I'm only down about a foot so far, but I hit one bottle already and it's a nice one. Or what would have been a really nice one. A nice drum Pepsi. Would have been worth at least a hundred dollars. Roanoke Bottling Company. Then I got the creek right next to me to wash the bottles off in. Alright, there it is. You gotta love that. Such a nice design, but well, there's just too many roots and all the bottles are broken. There is a lot of 1915s, all these bases are the 15. But that's just not good enough. I'm gonna fill it in and do something else. Well, it's starting to warm up a bit, so I think I'll do some refreshing underwater digging. I had pretty good luck yesterday with it. I can see some bottles down in there right now, but they're probably broken. But I'm gonna rake through the mud and I'm gonna surely hook up with some good bottles. The creek bottom used to be just plain dirt colored and then when I dug here yesterday I raked all of that stuff out. Yeah, the whole bottom was just full of bottles. All kinds of 1915 Cokes. But as you can see, there's some more contemporary Pepsis mixed in there. That's kind of odd. Well, there's a bottle I overlooked because the water was all messed up yesterday. It's a freaking perfect Pepsi bottle. <laughs> Hard to believe I just found this great bottle. This is about a $300 bottle. Well, it's from Tarboro, and it would have been a really great bottle. It certainly displays nice. It does have that fracture right there. Another one right there. Still, it's got to be at least $100 as is. And before I got into the water and started digging, I just was kneeling on the shoreline with a long-handled scratcher, and I just raked and raked, and all this stuff came up, including a whole sack full of good bottles. There's a good one I forgot to pick up. A Weldon straight side of Coke. It's got some chips on it, but pretty rare bottle anyway. Got that nice antique patina all over it. It'll come off with muriatic acid, but it sometimes looks really neat just to leave it like that. Well, with the loaded layer like that in there, I'm going to get back in there and see if I can find any more. I think I'll start in the shallow part before it gets all messed up with um, all the cloudiness it's going to produce. Looks like a whole bottle right there. Yep, sure is. It's a squeeze. Not exactly the most valuable bottle around, but it doesn't look like it has any chips either. There's another bottle. Of course, it's broken off, but it's a 1915. There's a Fleming. I haven't seen any of these yet. Of course, it's broken. Well, the bottles aren't everywhere. It's just in select few spots. There's one of the few non-soda bottles. 
There's a couple that somebody probably threw there 30 or 40 years ago. Undoubtedly some bottle diggers must have been to this place before, but it must have been a really long time ago. No signs of any fresh digging around here. There's another one. Of course it's broken. But it's uh, of course a 1915. There's another one. A bunch of bottles are showing up right in here. It's a really early churro cola. There's a whole pile of them. That one's almost intact. It's a 1915 as you can see. And it's got the really early crude Coca-Cola embossment. And the next one has got the bottom missing. Then the third one, well it's got the top sheared off. But it's probably 1915 as well. Yeah, there it is. Might still be worth a couple dollars. Well, I just haven't been down the creek this far yet. There's a lot of bottles showing up. That one looks to be a perfect one. Well, it's got a chip right there. But it's probably 1915 again. Yeah, there it is. I'll keep that one. Looks like a half pint milk bottle. Yeah, it sure is. It's just a three cent deposit variety though. All right, we got more bottles showing up. Broken off 15er. That one looks to be a whole one. Doesn't look very old, it's a patent office. Here comes another one. What is the age on this one? It's just a D patent. Just found another Pepsi. Of course the top's broken off. It's one of those rare Tarboro ones again. With the slanting down cola. Still, it's definitely worth bringing home. Found another 1915, but it's chipped, but I'm bringing it back anyway. I found a straight side of Coke product bottle. It's got a chip too, but it's a nice earlier one. Well, had to happen sooner or later, raking around a pile of broken glass without being able to see. Well, I guess I better get a band-aid on that one for sure. There's another Pepsi bottle with that nice antique patina about it. If it was in a little better condition, I would bring it home. Here's some stuff I just raked out of there. Mostly broken stuff, but maybe I'll make some drinking glasses out of them. Well, I just found a Chiro Cola from Rocky Mount. A lot of them that I find here are purple. This one has absolutely no problems with it. So that was a good score. Just found this beautiful blue Pepsi. Or what's left of it. Still, I wanted to cut it off and make a toothpick holder out of it, but with that fracture in it, it looks like a very fresh crack, too. I'm still going to cut it off and make something out of it. Okay, I just popped on a really good one. It's a mint condition new burn. I don't see anything wrong with that one. Not a really valuable one, but probably $75 anyway. All these bottles are coming out of the gravel. Not sure what's going on with this, but <laughs> they're deeply buried under this gravel layer. That one just came out next to the, where the new burn Pepsi came out of. No, it isn't the 70s kind. It has that embossing down below and the little Coke on the neck. That's 1958-59. Well, I got three bases of Coke bottles sticking out all at the same time, so I'll film that for you. Hopefully a couple will be intact. Well, it's broken off just like most of them, but it's a 1915. Yeah, okay, how about this one? No, that's not a good one. How about that one? 
No. Nope. Well, those three were no good, but just after that, popped out this really nice pale one. Nice squared off bottom with no case wear. Just has that big chip on it, but otherwise it's still a $5 bottle. There's another 1915 in that unusual blue color. Of course the top's broken. I'm finding plenty of these with the necks broken off, but I'm going to saw it off right there and make drinking glasses out of those. Another Pepsi. No, it's not perfect. But it's a very clean one. First one from Suffolk that I found here. Too bad it wasn't the watermelon slug plated variety. Well, that's definitely worth bringing home. Oh man, I just found a really great one for the mint cola collectors. Of course, it's broken in half. But even in that condition, it might be worth $10 because this is such an unusual and rare one. Found another really light, pale, beautiful blue with the script on the bottom. And that is a nice clean one. It's a bit damaged, but I'm sure you can get four or five dollars for it. Another purple tinted, beautiful <laughs> Chiro Colo, but it's topless. And like the rest, is from Rocky Mountain. I just pulled out another 1915. No chips on this one. That's a good one there. It's worth at least $12. There we have a mint cola. Of course it's broken like most everything. But this one is from Lewisburg. Kind of a long way from home. I don't have this one in my collection. That's a pretty scarce town. Here's the first 1915 that I found from Washington, North Carolina. Of course, it's missing its top. Alright, I see one sticking out of the bank. So it might be a whole one. <laughs> nope. And here's the first example of this I've seen in this dump. It is from Williamston, which is the city that produces the most valuable Pepsi bottle in the world. It's almost as though somebody dumped a giant pile of bottles here and then dumped a giant pile of gravel on top of it because they're just so well hidden and they're just in such an odd location and gravel's not natural around here I don't know where it all came from another Tarboro Pepsi it's a little too rough to bring home though well I've been finding a fair number of these orange crushes but this seems to be the only perfect one I found no city, but it's still pretty fun to find these. 